let's say that you are asked a task. Uh, it's, you are asked to produce a report for getting daily something that looks like this. I want to have the actual username, no, the, the, use, the, the name of the user, not the username, sorry, the person, the full name. I want to see the events uh, that the, that person actually did during the day. I want them sorted by the most frequent events. I want you to show me the user ID that he used to do that. I want also the serial number and the manager. Boy, that's an interesting task. Well, from Curator, we know that looking at event name is something rather easy. Events, well, we get the events, but we have to figure out a way of counting them, but I guess that we can do that. Let's see that. The username, when Curator sees anyone logging in, that's one of the features that Curator has had for years, it intercepts the username and tells you in the asset database that that particular user is the one that had that IP, that did this and did that, which is actually very useful. But the serial number? Well, I need to get that from someplace else. Same thing with the user, user's manager, so, and the full name, so. Well, let's say that you actually, um, you're going to create a map, which is another word of saying a many to one type of uh, data structure. And you're going to feed that data structure using the RESTful API. And probably your data is going to be on, on some identity management system. You're going to feed that. And you're going to build a map that given any user ID, I can log in into multiple system using different logins, uh, different user IDs, that map is going to always give you the actual name of the user, we're going to call it global user, and we're going to be actually using that in the report, but for the manager and the serial number, well, you're going to build another data structure, of course, supported by Curator. In this case, this is going to be a table in which, given that user, global user, I mean, the full name of the user, and of course, that system is also fed from, let's say, another identity management, say identity management too. Well, given that global user, you are going to get the serial number of the employee as well as the manager's name. So you can get that data, you're going to be, you can create those elements using the RESTful APIs, and you are going to be, uh, uh, start uh, using those. Here in Curator, we have uh, the actual uh, mapping for the, for the user. So, in fact, you can look here at the URL and see that that's what you put to access the uh, the test for the um, uh, RESTful API. And in the RESTful API, we look for get maps name, and we actually put the name of the mapping, which is global ID mapping. That's the many to one. And when we look at the sample of the response body, we see that if you give a user ID like CA admin or CA that number or Nathan underscore Taylor, whatever, you, you get the actual full name of the individual. Okay. You see here, Nathan Taylor, Catherine, Katharina, J. Shirley's, whatever, you know, that, that's, you get that data, that many to one mapping, give me a user ID, book, I, I'll give you a full username from this reference map. And here is the other data structure, the table. In this particular case, and I, this is the, the actual uh, RESTful APIs that I, that I use, get table by name. I put the table name, which is employee data, and this is the sample data that you get. So given a name, in this case, Ned and Taylor, you can get the uh, actual uh, uh, manager, which is manager here. And you can also get the actual uh, serial number, as you see here. Okay. So for every user, you can get the serial number and the and the 
and the manager there's some data about last last scene and you know we, we're not using that part of the of the actual table prior to version seven two three of curator you couldn't do these things because even though the user interface is very easy very intuitive you you cannot actually get actual columns with those names and that specific data you get what the ui offer you or well, not anymore now we we can use sql commands to construct these and many other sophisticated cases so we're going to start by using a, a, a sql uh, command actually it's this one in which we start by calling that map curator those are called reference map remember that the name was global id mapping and basically we're going to say given a any user id or username give me the actual full name of the user and we're going to be putting that one right here we continue by we're going to work on the on the event name well curator you, you have worked with curator before if you do then you know that in the qid is is the actual specification of what is it that the action that the event is uh, is seen to to have done so by getting the the qid name you get the full name of the actual operation user login login fail all the stuff that you actually see here and we put as and the name we're going to give to that column is event name again between quotes as we did before so we got that part done and we are actually going to be counting the event we're going to tell the sql command well please count those for me and you're going to map that as an event call as a, as a column called event count so do that counting for me please we continue we're going to say well I want you to put in the user ID field that is this one in here I want to put the not just the you every user I named uh, username that was used when the user was actually doing those actions I want you to put the first one that he actually used and that's what that word first goes there we continue now we're gonna go to the table in which we remember that the name of the table was employee data well now what we are saying is for every way of reading this is for every global user full name that I give you please give me the serial number and we're gonna call it serial name and we're gonna be putting it on the on the actual report like that we proceed now we go back to that reference the same reference table now to look for the name of the manager so again for every full username give me the user manager and put it in here uh, when but only when there is user information because you can have an old field in here just because curator couldn't grab the username because there wasn't any username when the user was actually uh, we couldn't catch how he logged in so those please take them out because those are not used uh, so if they are not uh, uh, null bits uh, uh, put in there we continue we're going to group, group those by global user and event name but we want to order those by that event count field that that we actually ask it to to calculate so in other in other words sort them in descending order so put the the ones with the largest number of event first and give me all those event for the last one day that's how you actually build the sequel in fact if we go back to uh to curator we're going to go actually to the to the actual uh, console and we are here on the log activity and actually I created this uh, this uh, long query in here we can see it you know all the statements that we were building are put in here you can actually test all these and the, if you make a mistake the, the tool will tell you that you don't have the SQL well well built and so we see the whole 
the whole thing in here and you can actually perform that search and you get that report that we see down before so I click search and looks like I have a small mistake here so let's see oh this is not this is select here so that's that's a mistake we do a select we see that actually it's getting blue because it's the word actually as you as you are typing um, any one of these uh, words uh, the the look ahead will find you the, the right syntax so we click search and we get that that result exactly the way that we suspected and you can actually you know export that to a csv file and use it to create more sophisticated reference sets or reference map now the sky is the limit with this new ability of uh, curator to do sql searches to do sophisticated searches